Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Projection, Technology Gain, Times 4, 5, and 7. Now, keep in mind, there will be those of you who think that, oh, it's no possible, you can't make a 7. Keep in mind, a 7 can produce an image outside on 1100 lumens. We've done it many, many times. And we're going to do it today, actually on these screen paints right here. So, um, with that being said, if you do feel that you can basically match that demonstration outside on 1100 lumens, please do so. We'll be looking forward to it. Alright, so, as you can see, we have the screen mounted up on the wall. We have plenty of light in the environment. I had somebody send me an email telling me that it was unfair in our demonstrations that we're doing things with all the lights on because uh, certain screen paints were, weren't uh, ambient light rejection. If you're going to go side to side or toe to toe with a screen that's designed to thrive in well-lit environments and your screen's not, wouldn't you think it might be in your best interest not to go down that road with it? All right, so let's show you how much light we have in the environment. As you can see, plenty of light, plenty of light, plenty of light. I've got to clean my lens too when I get time to. I'm so busy I haven't had time to clean the lens. All right, so you can see it's plenty of light in the environment. And this is the reason why we always support black screen paint and black technology because when it comes to a lighter screen paint mix, they cannot produce contrast. And the fact they can't produce contrast makes the screen dirty. It makes it washed out. It just, it just has a really bad image altogether, especially when it comes to contrast. Now keep in mind, being cat trumpet, this is supposed to be black, not this color right here. So you can see already uh, the failed contrast you're already getting. And the only way you can achieve this, you have to have all the light sides. That's why a lot of demonstrations on screen paints of this complexion have to be done in the dark. And we'll show you in many videos on why you do not want to go near these screens and why we stopped developing a form of uh, lighter screen paints due to the fact that they can't produce contrast and they will wash out in well-lit environments. Now, going back to a black screen now when you develop black technology it has to be able to prove itself which means we can do side-by-side -side demonstrations on a black screen versus another black screen now my next demonstration i'm going to be coding um i think my wallpaper screen i have a wallpaper screen around here right there a wallpaper screen right there that's already coded i think i'm gonna recode that with the uh, supreme 7. we're going to coat half of that paint half of that in flat black paint we're going to do a demonstration on snowstorms, snow dogs, snow, anything that has anything to do with snow. And we're going to show you the difference between our technology and black paint. This is the reason why we can show in those demonstrations, this is what a Supreme, this is what a Superior looks like on a white snowstorm compared to flat black paint or everyday blackout cloth, black blackout cloth. There's a difference. We bring up a higher white level. Like I said, any black screen can bring up contrast. The hard part is to bring up a white level. All right, so, and we're going to do this outside. All right, so first things first, let's show off the screen's high white levels. Now, I made sure that the lighting was on my side of the screen, so that way, you know, it's a... We're given a more of a fair chance and you know, I had some people saying like I said, why don't you turn out the lights? Our technology is designed to thrive with the lights on. That's why it's called ambient light projection. If you look at my demonstrations, you will see that we have tons of ambient light in our environment. We don't do things in the dark over here. All right, so let's come over here. Let's grab another well, very bright demonstration. Now, I'm going to show you why we no longer support a form of uh, the lighter screen paints because they cannot support contrast. Now, my projector is 3700 lumens. At 3700 lumens, 12 feet back, it can hit this black screen and produce a bright enough image and true black contrast. And keep in mind, the light's on my side of the screen. Now I'm going to make a cheap black screen paint mix 
I'm also too going to take regular black paint and we're going to do a side-by-side -side demonstration to the Supreme 7. I've already done this demonstration already with our Superior. Now the screen I had here used to be white. This used to be an all white screen. So this stuff is a roll on application. We're making the uh, Supreme a roll on. Last time we did a spray on, a lot of customers uh, weren't really um, spray gun friendly. And this makes it a lot easier. You can just roll this on to any surface that you want and you're done. Now see how much you're missing? When it comes to contrast, look how much you're missing from these screen paints right here. You're getting half the picture. Now my projector upstairs is a 1080p projector, 4,000 lumens. It has a 12,000 to one contrast. On this, I would never see it. Now, I'll come over here. We're going to grab a, I think this is a color uh, demonstration to show you how bright the color pulls up on our black screens. So gradually it'll get brighter and brighter and brighter. So these are the kind of tests that I have to do. I can't just say, hey, this is black paint, spray it on something, put it in a dark environment, hit it with the high-end projector and say, voila, this is what we got. No, we have to test it on everything. We have to take regular black paint, I have to take black sheets, anything that's black, and see exactly what is going to be the difference between this and that if we do it on a snowstorm. Now, see right here, lighter paint, darker paint. Like I said, love it or hate it, we can back it up. Here we go. And this is why I explain why contrast, I've been preaching this for the longest time. This is why contrast is very, very important. Now around five o'clock today, we'll be taking this outside. You'll get a chance to see the superior, I mean the supreme and how it reacts outside. I've done this already before, but we're gonna do it again. We didn't have the darker screen paint in there this time. This time we have the darker screen paint in there. All right, for my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Projection Technology Gain, times four, five, and seven. As I said before, the difference between the seven, uh, Supreme Seven, it has the ability to pull up images outside in the daytime hours with projectors as low as 1100 lumens. Grab me another demonstration real quick.
we had claims that our technology pulled up dark, dark images that you could barely see the screen. Look at this. Look how dark the blues are here and the wash out here. I'm going to do the same demonstration. I did this demonstration outside. This completely just washed out. that and any angle I choose see how washed out it is here completely washed out and I'm not going to be doing demonstrations with the lights out keep in mind doing demonstrations with the lights out is very easy very very easy to do Alright, I gotta go. My battery's dying. Thank you for your time. God bless.